Okay, in this video we're going to talk about polar coordinates. Polar coordinates are a different way to describe a point. So they are a different way to describe uh, describe some point on an XY coordinate system. So if we just have this point over here, XY, so normally to get to that point, we are going to move some distance X along the X axis and mark by axes, and then we would move some distance Y up or down or if it's negative um, to get to that point. So that's how we're used to describing points. But with, with polar coordinates, it takes that exact same point, so it takes that exact same, what we would consider the xy point, and it describes it with a certain uh, radius r, so it gives it a radius from the origin, and then it gives, it describes it with a value of theta that is, I don't like that color, sorry, uh, a value of, this will be a better, theta, um, that is always from the positive x-axis. So polar coordinates, what they are is an r and a theta, theta, where r is the radius from the origin, and theta is an angle from the positive x-axis. And some equations that are useful to describe polar coordinates, we could say that x is equal to r times cosine of theta. And that is because if we look at the triangle from, from this coordinate system, so we have some distance x, some distance y, r, and theta. If you find the cosine of theta, the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And solve for x, that gives you x equals r cosine theta. If you did a similar thing for y, you would find that y is equal to r sine of theta. So if we had an r and a theta, we could plug them into these equations and find our x, y, or our rectangular. This is called a rectangular coordinate system right there. If we needed to go the other way, the two things that we can use is the equation of a circle, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Um, and we could use that the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. All of these formulas, these four equations that I have just written down, they all come from that triangle triangle. x squared plus y squared equals r squared, that's Pythagorean theorem. And if you look at the tangent of theta, which is opposite over adjacent, you get y over x. Okay, let's do some examples. So first one, let's convert 2 pi over 6 to uh, rectangular coordinates. So right now it's in polar, so it has an r and a theta, and we want to find the x, y. We want to find the rectangular coordinates. Now if I graph this, so it's a radius of 2 at an angle of pi over 6. So it's a radius of 2 at an angle pi over 6. So there's theta. So in order to find x, x is r times the cosine of theta. r in this case is 2, and theta is pi over 6, and the cosine of pi over 
6 is root 3 over 2, and so x is going to be root 3. If we find the y value, we can find that by taking r times the sine of theta, 2 times the sine of pi over 6, and sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. And so the y value is 1. So in rectangular coordinates, we could describe this point as the point root 3, 1. And you would go over root 3 and up 1 to get to that point. Or we could go at an angle of pi over 6 and a radius of 2 to get to that point. Uh, let's go the other way. So in the next example, let's convert negative 2, negative 2 to polar coordinates. Now, converting the other way, we can just plug into equations. Converting to polar coordinates, I really, I, I have to draw it. So on the xy plane, we go to the left 2 and down 2. So over 2, down 2. So this is the point that we're looking for, and we need to find an r, and then we need to find a theta, from the positive x-axis. Okay, so if I want to find r, if I use the Pythagorean theorem, then 2 squared plus 2 squared would have to equal r squared, and that's 4 plus 4, which is 8, so r would be root 8, or 2 root 2. Now theta because this is over 2 and down 2, I know that the angle right here is 45 degrees, or pi over 4. And so in order to find theta, I need to take pi over 4 and add pi to it, because theta always starts from the positive x-axis. And so in this case, theta is going to be 5 pi over 4. And so in rectangular coordinates, we get that the radius is root 8. Angle theta is 5 pi over 4. We can also convert equations. So let's convert the equations to polar coordinates. Um, so first example, um, let's just convert x squared plus y squared equals uh, 49 to polar coordinates. So in polar coordinates, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And if I took a square root, r would equal 7. So x squared plus y squared equals 49. That is a circle of radius 7. And so just notice that if I have r equal to 7, so there's r equal to 7, and if I trace that radius, so if I go r equals 7, I'm right there. In the next spot, I go r equals 7, I'm right there. And then over a little bit, I'm right there. And you can kind of see how by going a radius of 7 all the way around a circle from 0 to 2 pi, it would trace out this, this circle. All right. So the conversion is just that the radius equals 7. That describes a, a full circle. Uh, next one, let's look at the line x equals 0, where y is greater than or equal to 0. So this one, it is the line, the line x equals 0, so that's, that's on the y-axis where y is positive. So it's this line that we're looking to describe. Now that line 
is always the same angle from the positive x-axis which is 90 degrees which is pi over 2. So that's how I could describe that line with a certain theta value. The radius is everything. It's infinite because that line is infinite. Here's another example. Um, let's convert. Um, let's convert y equals 5x squared. So this is one where, I mean, if you look at a parabola, this is a parabola. There's no way to get a constant radius out of this or a constant theta. One or the other would always be changing for all the points along that parabola. And so what we do is we just plug in that y is our sine of theta and that x is our cosine of theta and we'll square that. And we can simplify this a little bit by canceling one of the r's 5r and the cosine would still be squared. And I guess we could solve for r, um, but that would really be about it. We couldn't solve for theta in any way. There's no one, one trig function that gives us this. So, I mean, really we could just leave the equation like that. It's an equation. It's in polar coordinates. It's got r and theta in it. And um, that describes the parabola as far as radiuses and an angle from the positive x-axis.